In the previous video, uh, we calculated these information gains and we found that this X1 uh, is the highest information gain from these three columns. So we'll use this X1 to uh, partition our data and use it to develop our, uh, to build our decision tree. So uh, using X1, uh, what we have is that we have uh, these three partitions. So from the original data, uh, where this column had two E's, two G's and one A, we have divided them into three partitions. So this is one partition. This is the other partition where two G's are represented. And in the third position uh, partition, we have this one A. So we actually partition this uh, data set on the basis of these three, uh, on the basis of this column and find these three partitions. So what we essentially have here is that uh, this original data set uh, was given to our tree. We found all the possible all the required um, uh, entropies, impurities, and uh, we compared them and found that this column is the best one to partition the data. So uh, this makes one node for our decision tree. And the decision is made based on the column CS118. This node had this original data set as input. <clears throat> and when we calculated uh, the entropy and found that uh, the uh, that the best uh, the best vision is CS118. So we uh, we actually uh, make three branches out of this uh, node, and uh, we uh, on the first branch we have this excellent grade. On the second branch we have this uh, good grade, and on the third branch we have this uh, average grade. So uh, let's see what's there in the excellent. Um, well, uh, uh, when we have an excellent in CS118. So in the partition, we see that the uh, grade of CS201 is uh, also excellent. So which means that if CS118 is uh, excellent, the grade is excellent, then definitely uh, the grade in CS201 would also be excellent because uh, this is our training data. This overall data set was our training data. data. So this training data actually says uh, that CS118 having an E means that we should also have an E in CS201. So we would actually make a leaf node here and we would say that the result of CS201 would be an excellent grade. So <clears throat> for the second branch where the actually uh, grade in CS118 was good, we see that uh, in the column of CS201, we have two different grades. It means this data set is still impure. So we have to actually divide this, this data set partition to uh, again and find uh, another attribute which would uh, divide the data set into partitions where we have pure uh, subsets. Uh, for the third uh, partition, where the, uh, where the grade in CS118 is A, uh, we can see that the uh, grade in CS201 is F. So uh, we would simply uh, say uh, we have another leaf node here and the grade in CS201 would be F if the student uh, achieves an average grade in CS118. Then CS201 would be F. Now, uh, for the next step, we would repeat the same process that we, that we actually did for the original data set. Uh, we would repeat it on this partition too. So uh, we have another decision to make here on this uh, on this branch. So let's make that decision and pick this um, partition into uh, for for some more calculations. So here's the partition. So for this partition, now we cannot pick this CS118 as the partition attribute. And the reason is that we already have the same grade. Uh, we, we have the same grade in this column and we already divided our um, uh, data set into into uh, three partition based on this CS118. So if we again use this column, we would we would uh, not actually uh, improve any uh, purity of the uh, labels because both are G here and we cannot divide further partition the data set. So uh, we have to pick from these two X2 and X3 columns. So let's see what is the entropy of X3 here. So, in fact, uh, we would say it like <clears throat> um, that 
before finding the entropy of y given x2 and entropy of y given x3 we would like to find the entropy of this entire data set that is the column y so we would find the entropy of column y only without any condition that would be in this data set we have only one value out of 2 sg and the other value is f so 1 by 2 log base 2 of 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 in uh, 1 by 2 log base 2 of 1 by 2 and we would actually put another negation sign negative sign on, uh, outside the uh, equation so the answer for this uh, minus 1 by 2 1 by 2 uh, was one we already calculated it so uh, now coming back to the uh, entropy conditional entropy of y given uh, x2 uh, if we see here that if we partition this uh, uh, data set on the basis of cs217 uh, we have this one e and one b so if we partition it on the basis of e we only have one um, data record here and it is a pure um, that said because only uh, if we have only one record that would only have one label so uh, for for the value e this x2 uh, column has a pure data set and similarly for the uh, value b we again have a pure data set so the entropy would be zero for this and zero for uh, for b great so uh, the average would again be zero <clears throat> similarly for x3 we have uh, only uh, one records in both the partition g and a so the entropy would be zero now uh, <clears throat> when entropy is zero let's again find the information gain uh, based on this x2 column from this data set it would be the difference from the entropy of the ori original data from this entropy so one minus this zero and similarly for information gain of column x3 we have one minus zero which is again one so uh, both are equal which mean which, which means we can pick any one of the two columns to further partition the data so let's pick this cs217 to partition the data if we pick this so uh, what we had uh, in our in, in the tree we had this uh, this uh, actually tree so let's add another node here and we decided that we would further partition based on the second column cs217 here and uh, we know that in this uh, in the data set that uh, we had from this branch it had these two records so uh, if a student achieves e then the grade in cs201 is g and if the student achieves b in cs217 then the grade would be f so we have two branches here <clears throat> the first branch is for the excellent grade, and the second branch is for the uh, below average grade and for excellent branch we have the grade g so there is another leaf node that says that the grade in uh, in the cs201 would be good uh, whereas uh, for the second branch where, where the CS217 is blue average, we have an F for CS217. So uh, here is the complete uh, decision tree because all the leaf nodes now, they are the pure, uh, they, they, they have the pure data set here and they can actually label the um, test examples uh, correctly. So uh, what is what are the test examples? Uh, we would now give the uh, an example that is not from the, the this data set in fact that's the data set that we want to test and we want to check if uh, what label our decision tree assigns to a new value so let's say we have a record uh, of another student who has uh, for example uh, an excellent in cs118 then um, <clears throat> Then another, for example, uh, let's say that uh, he has another excellent in CS217 uh, and for example, uh, a G in WE1A2. Uh, so let's predict the grade of uh, this student uh, using this uh, decision tree. So we have this E for the CS118. So we will give this record to the decision tree and decision tree would see that I have to check this 
the grade of CS118. So in CS118, uh, this, uh, this new test uh, record has an E. So uh, the, the record would go in this branch. And we see that only checking the excellent in CS118 will predict that the grade in this um, course for, e, for, for CS201 should be an excellent grade. Okay, let's have another student uh, who has, a, a, for example, good grade in uh, CS118. And for example, uh, he has a B in uh, CS217. And then uh, he has, uh, for example, a G in WE182. So if uh, we input this into the tree, uh, Upon seeing a G in CS118, uh, we would go into this branch and we then check the grade in CS217, that is B. So we would traverse onto this branch and see that there is a label F, which means we would assign a label F for CS201 here. So this is how we uh, predict different grades uh, from the test data. I hope this is clear. Uh, in the next video, uh, we'll discuss uh, how we use these decision trees in an ensemble me method that is a uh, random forest.